two together have a pass. My solution is to throw money at the problem. What's that noise? That, my friends, is the engine that is currently inflating a hot air balloon. Are we going on one? This one. Sure, you don't care. It's such a... Floating up amazing sensation. It's so gentle, isn't it? So, so gentle. Right. Like, a, like a constellation of stars, they're all the other hot air balloons. Wow. So they're tear-shaped, and they are as far as the eye can see. Our shadow, the sun's behind us, and our shadow is just crossing over the rocks. It just reminded me, I remember when I was about 10, and when the sun shining behind you, like, you you become long. Yeah, you get or shorter. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Is that what's happening here? Yeah. And look, the rock just below us, it's like layers of a trifle. Like it's all slipped down, melting after it erupted from a volcano. Sometimes they look like peaks of cream when cream has been really heavily whipped. Yeah. And it's kind of pointing up. Wow. They're delicious. Right. As you're describing things, although I can't see it, I'm beginning to get more familiar, like it feels like it's coming together. As the sun sinks lower, I'm running out of time. Our last walk is through a deep, steeply sided valley. Oh my god, that, that on the right is so big. Man. Where did it start from? Against the light sky, I can see this dark. Big boulder shape and it's so overpowering, it seems so big and I, it, it's engaging me actually. And I can, I've got a sense of it. The afternoon sun silhouettes a boulder, and for the first time in decades, Anna can see an outline with his eyes. So, is it, does that help you this environment make a bit more sense? You know, a bit of an idea of scale. Oh, God, so much. Yeah. This is just Good. incredible. Like, Good. It's such a, it's such an incredible landscape, I'm loving it. I can't tell you right now if I'm near the edge of a cliff or on a flat plain. But to me, that doesn't matter. The sense I have of this place is so full of colour and detail. It just only exists in my imagination. Cappadocia is just like, it's just been such a rich experience for me. And your descriptions have brought it to life. I'm envisaging these beautiful, different colored teardrop shapes, balloons flying mm. over the land. Yeah. And the way that you described all the detail, like, felt like I could see. That's never happened in a long, long time. The very first thing when someone said to me, we don't want to come on this trip with you, they said that when sighted people are with blind people, like you, you yeah, slow down the visual yeah. environment. Yeah. I was like, mm -hmm, yeah. sign me up. Yeah. And the yeah. said, but they'll be talking constantly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I have not yeah. slowed down. Yeah. Yeah. It's been yeah. busy. Yeah. It's like yeah. really, really, yeah. really, yeah. really yeah. busy. Yeah. 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 Thinking all the time has made me have to acknowledge my inclination to be solitary. I've been able to be mistrusting it because it's been possibly wonderful for the man in the coffee shop. And then you have this incredible experience. Alexa, set an alarm for 3.30am. Fred alarm set for 3.30am tomorrow. Sam for every moment that my blindness frustrates me, I know I wouldn't be here otherwise. It's blindness that makes me travel, and it's blindness that keeps me seeing the world.
Tim Tuttle off. Yeah.